Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, it's Ashley again for another week of a little paint sketching. It is pretty rainy outside. Um, it's pretty dark in my apartment and I can't find my little spot floodlight, whatever that I would normally use for this type of lighting. So we are gonna just go right in and get started. Um, today I am gonna be doing it a little bit differently. I basically sketched out this pelvis. We're not gonna be using our Mr. Papers over there. Um, there he is, he's still, he's still hanging out. Uh, there you, go. you can actually see it better on this angle, but we're gonna just be going straight from a photo that I found of a female pelvis. Instead of just directly sketching with paint, um, I went in with my, with one of these Prismacolor Primero um, in Scarlet Lake, if you can see that. Um, when I was in animation school, one of the biggest takeaways I had was sketching in red or blue pencil, but typically red, and ever since, um, a lot of my work I've sketched in red pencil. So as you can see, I kind of took the liberty of just doing this ahead of time, um, right before, it didn't take too long. After warming up a teeny bit, we're gonna be going in with some of the typical Craft Smart satin acrylic craft paint, which is like, I think like $1.50. I don't know, I listed it in the last video, um, the price, and then I got my good old Pikachu and some brush friends to hang out with us today. So we're just gonna go in um, with some of this. We're gonna mix up some paint and I think I wanna go with a very light wash today. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And don't mind my shadows, I apologize. I'm gonna try and minimize those today. Today I'm just working on a paper plate that I've used in the past, obviously. I don't usually use paper plates for beading, but occasionally for painting. These two colors mix really nice together. Yeah, we're getting like a nice little pink, like a really true, you know, we've got that really true candy red there, candy apple red. and. It's white and it's just mixing really nice. So I don't really know how opaque this is going to go on just yet, but uh, we're going to just go in. I started blocking off a little shadow there with my pencil. So uh, yeah, so this is really dark and really true to, uh, really similar to um, the pencil color, but that's okay. I'm going to just go in right now, I guess, with this and just kind of block out some of my darker colors, I guess. I, normally, I would probably say, let's go with the lighter colors first, since we're kind of gonna work with like a little bit of some watercolor style techniques, but that's okay. It's just a sketch. So now I'm gonna just add a little bit of water just to see. Yeah, okay, so you can see that. See how like elastic it is. It's definitely water, more watery now, so we're gonna just go in, stretch that out. You can see some of the tooth of the paper is coming in. See that? So we're all gooch. So I went and found my little desk spotlight thingy that I use, um, nice and easy, a little bit better lighting, I think you guys can see it a little bit better, I know I can see it a little bit better, so let's get back in. So now I got some lunch cooking in the background, so you're gonna hear that. Just gonna start going in with some, some like washes of purple now to add a little bit more depth. And clean it up as I go. I'm using this Anita's All Purpose Acrylic. I'm gonna come through Anita. Whoops. Stretch it over and 
That adds like some cool interest there. And now I'm gonna go in with this peachy, this peachy yellowy color, I think. I'm gonna see what it looks like up here. All right, it's a little, it's a little much. I'm gonna try and thin that out, maybe lighten it a little bit. I wanna get some like interesting um, highlight going, maybe some yellow. So I'm a little bit happier with that. It's like a nice little peachy, peachy yellow. I'm actually going to like kind of go over, I think I'm gonna go over my white with it. My white, my like bare paper but at the same time leaving a slight edge. Oh shit, it's cat hair. I can tell I'm back home, but um, it's cat hair everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna leave like a little slight edge to give like a nice little high, uh, nice little highlight. You know, it's important to like, if you want some lighter colors, you're gonna have to leave those, leave those places white, white, blank, empty, however you like to explain it. Yeah, I'm really digging this peachy coral that I made. I'm just, I just used a little bit of that pinky peach from the red and yellow together, mixed in some white and then added, kind of just pulling from the whole thing. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna be messing, I think, with this peach color up here because I'm trying to mimic my, I have a light source now, I guess, supposedly, if you count this. But um, since the light's coming down from this side, I'm going to, you know, focus on keeping that light right You can see like what we're doing here now. We're kind of just bringing it out. And then I think I'm gonna have some cooler shadows going this way, I think. Just bring that straight yellow now. It's got a nice little fire to it because of the red it's mixed in with. So just kind of let it happening, letting it happen organically. to grab in some water, stretch that thing out. So I went ahead and I grabbed this Craft Smart Satin na Native Turquoise. Not just turquoise, not so sure how I feel about that name, but whatever. We're gonna just, I think it'll add a nice contrast with this, with the corals and the reds and the peaches. They kind of sit sort of at the opposite ends of the spectrum. It's like a blue that goes more green, green and red are opposites. This is more of a Orangey red, orange and blue are opposites. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Now we've got, you know, a little bit of um, some contrast going on, some different colors, a gradient going. It's definitely a lot more brilliant in person, and I think the lighting has a lot. The lighting has a lot to do with that. If I just bring my spotlight up a little bit, you can definitely see what I'm talking about. I think this really does need a background, so I'm just going to go in quick with, um, I think I'm going to use that same teal, but a pure version of the teal, and I'm just going to put that in the background and see if that makes this baby pop a little bit more. Start out by outlining with a smaller brush with that teal. Yeah, I like that already. And I'm um, gonna try to keep the integrity of these lines. You can see, you see it kind of poking through there. I don't wanna lose the pencil. I don't wanna lose that texture. So outlining it first will kind of give 
me a guide on where to stop when I go in with my larger brush to fill in the background. Got the background kind of filled in. I'm gonna just lift this. Got an interesting little, little thing going on here. I think I'm gonna to want to clean this up a little. But I'm liking the colors and I'm liking the way it looks, and it didn't take long at all. So there you go. That's a little I'm gonna just give it a little signy sign and then we'll be on our way. Thanks for watching and I thank you. Gonna have a good one.